We're a little behind on filming. Why? Let's tell our audience why. Babies. Welcome to Well-Rounded Mama's YouTube channel. Today I'm joined by Sarah and we wanted to talk about breathing and labor. If you find this video helpful, like, subscribe, ring the bell, share it with all of your pregnant or thinking about pregnant friends because we're talking about something super important today. Yep. Breathing. We think when people are in labor, they should breathe. Yep. We thought it would be helpful to kind of talk specifically about why it's so important in labor and how you can do it. Breathing in labor helps you control your heart rate, helps you stay well oxygenated. And if you're trying to have a natural birth or one that has as little intervention as possible, um, it helps you cope with pain as well. So it can relax your muscles, relax your body, and, and then you don't experience as much pain because you're relaxed. Absolutely, and we're gonna yeah. show you how to do that. Well, <clears throat> the breathing we're gonna talk about today is gonna to be specifically of how you can kind of continue to stay relaxed through late active through mm -hmm. transition because once you hit active labor, your contractions are lasting a minute. <clears throat> when I go to the gym, a minute can feel like a long time sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to remember that it's only a minute, that it will pass. But when you're in it, but when you're you in need it, that reminder. <laughs> you need that breath. From your amazing <laughs> support team. Yes. But remember when you're in that minute, that feels long, but <clears throat> I can show you a breathing technique today that would help. What I'm gonna encourage you to do is go get some ice. I'm gonna ask you to do something called an ice challenge. You're gonna hold ice in your hand, whether it's in a baggie or it's, you know, however you want to do that. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna set the timer for a minute and you're just gonna experience that intensity. We have one here. I'm gonna have Sarah <laughs> do it. So you're gonna get to see her face. I don't wanna do it. But when you first start holding a piece of ice, it's just kind of cold. But as the minute kind of wanes on, you can feel that it kind of builds in an intensity and in a, in a discomfort so much so that you do need some kind of tool. And so I challenge you the first time to do it just with no tools. Yeah. Just. Mm -hmm. Don't put on music, don't light any candles, just do it. And then for the second part of the challenge, I want you to work on some breathing while you go through that minute. And that today we're specifically gonna just talk about the breathing. Next week, Tiffany and I are gonna talk a little bit about affirmations. And mm -hmm. I think those two can go hand in hand quite well together. So should we do it? Go grab some ice. If you have your bowl of ice, mm -hmm. you're gonna get comfortable in your house. You're gonna make sure that you don't have any air options. Turn off any music or TV or white noise that you have happening in the background. I believe we have like a fan going, but we would die if we turned it off. So yes. we're gonna keep that going. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who played like an instrument or sang, you would understand that we're mostly like these chest breathers, that when we're born, we're abdomen breathers. But when we become adults and these upright human beings, we breathe with our chest. It takes a little bit of work to learn how to breathe with your abdomen. So I would just do this video not doing that unless you know what I'm talking about. So if this is the first time you've heard of like abdomen breathing, don't do it. But kind of be aware that when you're sitting there and you're taking some deep breaths, which part is raising? Your chest or your abdomen? And yeah, I know you can't see my stomach and that was intentional. <laughs> um, so you're gonna take a nice deep breath. And if you'll see, it's mostly up in here. And that's okay. However, it could make you feel a little bit lightheaded. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath and we're gonna try and push this air that we fill our tongues with down to our abdomen. And if you have to physically push your abdomen out, go ahead. So everyone then is gonna take a breath with their abdomen. And it felt more grounding. Did you feel the difference between mm -hmm. that? This kind of felt a little bit like I could feel lightheaded or I could feel like a little floaty. And that's what happens when you get in that contraction, when you're doing something really intense is you want to escape your body, but sometimes there's like an unhealthy way of doing that. Whereas you can do in a healthy way, kind of go through what you need to go through to get to the other end without kind of this fight or flight response, like fear mm -hmm. is setting in and I want to escape my body because it's not oxygenated. Pra certainly practice that. <laughs> just a couple more times. We're going to take a breath with just our chest. Okay. Again, see how you kind of feel it a little bit up in here. The other thing I want you to remember when you take that breath in, your shoulders kind of go in and you take this breath and then as you release it, what happens is these shoulders come down. Mm -hmm. And so the second part of your breathing is gonna be 
how long you inhale versus how long you exhale. Let's take one more abdominal breath. We're gonna fill our abdominal cavity. I want you to imagine in your mind's eye that that air and that breath is going into your stomach and then release it. Ready, everyone, inhale. you kind of feel like this difference, right? It just feels a little bit more grounding. You know, we do this really great NRP training. It's called neonatal resuscitative training that we do for babies. And Karen Strange is one of the instructors for that. And so we see her every couple of years. And what's so amazing, when she's teaching us how to do something that's high energy or blood pressure's up, your heart rate's up, you're stressed out, um, she always reminds us to feel ourselves on the floor, wherever that may be, whether it's we're sitting on our knees, we're sitting on our butt, we're standing on our feet, just to kind of feel ourselves on the floor. And so that's another aspect too. Just as you're taking those inhales, you're kind of bringing in this energy up into your chest and your abdomen, whichever you feel comfortable doing, and then you're just letting that all go. And you'll find that naturally what happens is, is this all softens, this all lightens. Even your forehead will soften because as we take that deep breath where we have this, and then everything kind of from the beginning to the top kind of goes and flows out. And that's what I want you to think about when you think of your breath is I want you to think about drawing that up from your center all the way up this way and then exhaling it all the way down through your center as opposed to starting your breath here. That's kind of what I want. I want you just to kind of picture yourself really connected into that earth and rooting yourself. If you even want to imagine that you're a tree and I want you to imagine your roots kind of going and setting down into the earth. Mm -hmm. So, or for you, if it's just, I can feel myself, if you tell me to feel that contact there where my butt's hitting the couch, that's what I want you to feel is I want you to feel grounded. So remember we're kind of going up and we're going down. And the reason that works really well with your contraction is your contraction is doing the same. It is always like this, right? So if we can keep our breathing very, very similar, that's what our goal is. And so we're gonna take an in, a nice inhale. But you want that inhale to be just a little longer and that's okay because a lot of us, if we were to do that, there is a type of breathing that you can do mm -hmm. in a meditation that works for fire that. Breath. Mm -hmm. That fire breath can work really well. However, that's a different intention that you're putting out there, right? Mm -hmm. You might change to this fire intention when you go to push, because what happens is, is we've been talking to people about breathing their whole time in labor, and then we get to pushing, and women start holding their breath and bearing down. And I always have people on the team go, breathe. <laughs> I always have to be like, no, it's cool. She's doing a different kind of breathing now. Right. But when you go to push, when those contractions go from being dilation to expulsive, mm -hmm. that's a different kind of energy and a different kind of breathing. And so the breathing we really want to talk about today is just during that contraction that we want to match this lovely little pattern that's kind of happening on that. So we're going to go ahead and do this real quick. And so everybody get cozy, kind of shift your butt wherever you're sitting so that you're kind of really <laughs> feeling that weight and just kind of ground yourself in that moment. And think about the intention that you have right now. That intention is you're going to discover your breath and how it can work for you and how it can give you what you need. If you feel like grabbing the ice now, certainly we can do that. And then I'm gonna time you for this perfect minute, right? So go ahead, pick up your ice. And if you wanna close your eyes, we're all gonna take a nice deep breath in through our nose two, three, four, five, and exhaling out our mouth. If you have to make noise while you're doing that, you certainly can. And we're gonna try and do that as long as we possibly can. And again, in through our nose, two, three, four, five, and doubling our breath by releasing it out of our mouth to the count of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can see how she's doubling it more and more. She's getting a little longer, a little longer. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Two, three, four, five, and exhaling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see it's something to work up to. And so just take a few minutes by taking that nice deep breath.
letting everything sink and lower, letting those eyebrows soften, letting that face soften until you're ready to take this nice deep breath. And then just sit with yourself for a little while, take, allowing your body to intake that air that you need and expelling what you don't and allowing your shoulders to relax, your stomach to relax, your hips, all the way down to the tips of your toes. And what's gonna happen is you continue focusing on this breath, that ice becomes easier and easier. So Sarah can dispose of the ice. And so just some things to think about while you are preparing for birth. When you get in your last trimester, you're gonna do something called kick counts, which is a really, really important part of your care. And when you're sitting with those kick counts, it's a perfect time to take a minute and really, really focus and put your mind into that intention of breathing and use it for a time for connecting with baby. Mm -hmm. That's when maybe you take that moment with this amazing human that's gonna come be a part of your life and that's where you have this kind of connection where you're just dedicating this time and this space to you and baby. And maybe doing that for, you know, starting out with 10 minutes and working your way up. So everybody has a place where they're comfortable. Sarah can meditate way longer than me. She's really good at it. And why? She's better at practicing it. It is part of her daily routine. Whereas for me, I'm a little less disciplined. Anything you want to add to that, Sarah? Just having just held the ice cube <laughs> for, long, long. Um, for a, a little bit. Um, after a while, like seriously getting used to like taking these breaths, I almost didn't even notice that the ice cube mm -hmm. was in my hand after like the first couple of breaths because you just get focused on doing that instead of, you know, what, the sensation. And that's like exactly what we're going for. So thanks for joining <laughs> with us. Thanks for breathing with us for a little while. <laughs> Hopefully you'll continue to breathe and share breathing with all of your pregnant friends. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next week. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Like. Everything else. Oh, we had in the to world. fix something on our thing because it's, <laughs> we last week we made a water birth video and it says water broth. Yes, water broth, and why everyone should have one. Everyone should have a water broth. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like broth. Yes, <laughs> not the good kind. In a TMI way. Yes. And then Sarah, maybe will share her tips and tricks. I always try to say that tips and tricks. I always tips do. Tips and tricks. I always. Everyone loves tips and tricks. That. No, why do I want to say that? We'll call it TNT. TNT. I'm trying to think of what else is called TNT. <laughs> After this video is done, <laughs> I'm making this super straightforward. So, yeah. Even those of us who don't think we like people, we do a little bit. <laughs> you can see we're both ready to go to the sun. Look at. And our other midwife, one of our other midwives, showed up wearing the same color today. Green day! <laughs> it's a green day. It's a green day. We it's should listen to green day. day all day. We should. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, guess what else today is? What else is today? Oh, it's my birthday. It's Sarah's birthday. <laughs> I was like, I happy don't know birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs>